This is a dry system which mostly we use for the parquet. The name is CSC and uh, this valve is inside the boiler room and as you see that's quite an old valve. Um, the incoming water, the things that we have to check first, where is the incoming water? The incoming water comes from here and going through the back flows, which has two shuttle valves, and then through the back flow goes to the dry system. And the shuttle valve for the system, you can use one of these uh, OSY valve for the shuttle valve, shut the water for the system. The things that we have to know, everything we have to do in this system, it should be in order. So Jane is gonna tell you one by one what is the procedure to do the dry system, dry treat? Uh, at, uh, before the uh, test, we should make sure we call the monitoring to put the fire alarm on test, and we disconnect the bells, uh, auxiliaries, and maybe security. And then we take our tools, our sprinkler tools here, and uh, um, then we read three previous uh, sprinkler reports to see if there's any uh, notice, something we have to uh, be known of. And after that, the first one we should uh, make sure that the compressor is working. So, for this kind of dry system, here is a compressor. And if you want to find the uh, cutting cutoff switch, always follow the airline. The switch is uh, either on this end or on the compressor end. For this one, it is on the compressor end. Go take your screwdriver, find the cutting cutoff switch. And yeah. So the compressor is working well. And we can see the compressor switch, which is behind this system on the wall. Uh, you have to notice that because later we're going we're gonna to turn it off. Okay, so the compressor is working very well. Now it stops. And now we... Um, record the uh, residue and the static water pressure. What does residual mean? Residual water, uh, water pressure means when there's water flow and the pressure to the, uh, to, to the pipe. It means um, the uh, water supply from city water is, is good. If the residual is low, for example, your static is 100, residual is 40, what, what does it mean? It means the uh, water from the city is not good. Maybe somebody shut the uh, water supply. There's a valve outside of this building. Who, who do you have to report first? So I have to call the uh, managing company to call the customer and to uh, ask him to ask the uh, uh, water supply. Uh, city, you mean the city. city? Yeah. So I open the uh, water drain slowly. Open. Yeah, you can see the gauge. Now it's around one, 110 and when we close it, it's about 120, so that's recorded here. Static pressure is 110, oh sorry, the residual pressure and the static is 120. This is the water pressure. Then we test the main shuttle valve is okay. In this case, we have two options. 
because the water supply is from here, so we can shut the water from this one or this one. We'll go for this one because it's very close to this one. So now it's open with an indicating tape. We we'll close it. We fully close the main shuttle valve. Just to remind you that this procedure is quite important because if the main shuttle valve is not working very well, there is always some water come from this side to the system, then the system the system is not be able to be tested because if you open this, there's always water coming outside. You are unable to reset it. Now, we fully close this one. Yeah. And then, we open the main drain to check if there's any leak from the shuttle valve. If you can see the drain from that side, in this case, this is better. And if you cannot see the water coming out, you can hear if there's any leak. No leaks, okay. So now we can restore water. In this case, okay. Now, if you open this uh, shovel valve right now, the water pressure will go directly to the uh, clamper it may trip the system. So, we open the main drain a little bit and slowly open the main shuttle valve. In this case, the water goes here and uh, it can direct it to the drain. It won't directly push the clamper. And when you open it, slowly close the main drain to restore water to the system. Yeah, you can see the gauge rise to static. Yeah, 120. Now fully close the main drain and uh, open the main shuttle valve. Today we are doing the dry trip, which means we only need to trigger the system. We don't need to wash the whole pipe. So we just open this main shuttle valve like 20% okay and keep it like this next procedure is to record the uh, cutting pressure so we relieve air from here or from here and we can see this one will shoot to the uh, compressor so if there's water it will be dangerous so in this case, each system should have air relief valve, is that right? Yeah, so, uh, so in this system, the air relief valve is here. So we relieve valve, relieve air from here, release the air. Sometimes there will be water, so just cut it, cover it. And now you can see the air pressure gauge is dropping. We are waiting for the compressor start, which means the uh, touching air pressure. When the compressor starts, I will shut the compressor down and shut the air line. Because I don't want water to go back through the uh, air line to the compressor. Because sometimes the check valve here Maybe it's not working very well. Now it's supported. There really is more. Okay, so set up the compressor, close the air line, and continue to release air. Now, when the system creeps, Ready to shut the main shuttle back. But before that, it's better to close this air relief valve because there will be water coming. 
the static, the static pressure is 140. So the uh, trigger pressure is around 20, 24. Continue to release, now it's 30. Okay, system trips. Shut to the main shot. Now we can release water. Uh, just now the system trips. So, and in this case, uh, when system trips, uh, the uh, pressure goes to goes to the uh, uh, alarm pressure switch, which triggers the alarm and uh, uh, for the uh, uh, fire alarm panel. I just went to uh, reset the panel, but it cannot be reset because the pressure is trapped here. So there's a valve. Let's open it and relieve relieve the pressure for the alarm pressure switch. And then let's go and reset the panel again. Uh, after the uh, uh, system trips, now we have to open the uh, open this chamber to uh, reset the clamper. Okay, now the clamper is open, and uh, this is from water side, mm -hmm. and this this one is air side. So, so we have two set of gasket. Outer is for air, inner is for the water. Chamber is middle chamber. Mm -hmm. and the it is seat, between the yeah. uh, water and the air. This oh. is the middle, middle chamber. And we have a, a board, tree, board, board trip and the air line, uh, uh, alarm line mm -hmm. connect to the uh, middle chamber. So when system trips, there's water in the middle chamber, uh -huh. cuts the clamper open, and okay. water rushes from the water side to the whole system. And there's uh, water in the middle chamber. It goes here to the alarm and okay. uh, alarm pressure switch, okay. and it goes to alarm. Okay. In the middle chamber? Nothing. Empty. Nothing. Middle Empty. chamber is, is a neutral, but actually area. No okay. air and no, no water should no be pressure. There. No pressure. Okay. If you find out uh, the gasket is something wrong, with that gasket you have to change it, yeah? Uh, yes, we have to uh, uh, replace it uh. or try to fix it. Mm -hmm. Okay, and when, when you clean it... Okay, now we put the uh, face plate back and now we add priming water from here. It's open. And uh, the priming water is to keep the gasket wet. So it's better to use warm water. Open the air, air line and uh, Turn on the compressor. Okay, we have to wait for 10 PSI. 